I had thought that Bandit might do best on lead in this situation, but Leanne and Kyle said they thought he'd work for treats and he does actually have a pretty good stay when there isn't a big space to run around in and lots of distractions. So we decided to give him a go off leash for the photos, but put him back on between takes. Good boy. That's beautiful. Okay. And... Boy. Okay, go and give him a treat. He's a very good boy. Good boy. He's fierce when he's that stage. Like, I'm super impressed. That's awesome. I expect he would have just, like, gone yeah, running. not too bad. <laughs> he's bad, but yeah. he's not. I'm going to shoot a little bit further up the path here because I think there's some really pretty light coming in a little bit further up. So we might go up there. We might need to do some reorganising of the forest though and remove some of those dead logs and stuff that are up there. So yeah, we'll go up there and have a look. When I'm shooting in a natural environment like this, I'm not against doing some impromptu gardening and having a bit of a clean up to make the environment look tidier and to get rid of some of those visual distractions. Okay, so where I want him this time, it's pretty much, there's the light coming through. Maybe even here. Yeah, probably here. See between this clump and this clump? Right in the middle, right there. See how his, see how his focus yeah. is. Okay, go back and give him a treat. Good boy, good boy. Since the light had decreased after moving further under the trees, I went back to shooting at ISO 1600. So I decided to switch to my 135mm lens. This allows me to shoot at f2 and also reduce the ISO. Also, I just really love this lens and the creamy soft backgrounds it creates. 